Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this short and quick tutorial, I will show you how we can export animations from Blender to After Effects. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that, if you end up liking this video, please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing to my channel and support me. And by the way, if you like short 3D simulation videos, you can check out my second channel, link in the description. So now without any further ado, let's start today's video. So here I am in Blender using 3.2 version. So here you can see I have modeled this Pac-Man and animated this one and by the way if you want to learn how to model and animate Pac-Man here you can click on the i card above or else you can check a link in the description for the tutorial. So now let's see how we can export this animation into After Effects. So in After Effects we will be using Element 3D plugin in order to import 3D objects. So Element 3D supports only OBJ files or OBJ sequence. So for that reason, we need to convert this animation into OBJ sequence. So now let me show how we can do that. So let me select the elements, go to this file option, come to this export and select this wavefront OBJ. So here you can see we got this window open. So now let me create a new folder where I can save this sequence files. Okay. So here let me select this and make sure to enable this animation option or else we won't get the animation we will get only obj file that means object file so make sure to enable this animation and click on this export obj so here i have already exported this into obj sequence so let me show you so here you can see we will get these obj sequence files here after exporting that one okay so now after exporting that one let's move to this after effects so here i have created a composition already so first let me create a solid layer for element 3d so let it be element layer and it's okay so now go to this window options come to this effects and presets and look for element so element 3d is a third party plugin so select this element and drop it onto this element layer so now click on this scene setup button so here you can see we got a new window open to work in element 3d so in general if you want to import any 3d objects into this element 3d we will click on this import button but for this OBJ sequence, we need to go to this file option, import, and here we will get that 3D sequence. Just select this 3D sequence and look at the file. So here are the OBJ sequence file. Select the first file and open. And alignment, let it be from bottom so that we'll get our model on the grid and hit OK. So here you can see we got that model and let me click on this normalize size. So now you can see we got our Pac-Man here. So here if you want to change the material, you can do that. Simply select the material and drag and drop the material you like. So you can see it got this chrome here. So in this way you can add materials here only. So now let me click on this OK button. So here we got our model. So now let's add a camera layer in order to view this model in 3D space. So go to this layer options in new create a camera and preset let it be 35 mm. Okay. So now if I rotate this one. Now you can see we got our Pac-Man model and this model has got the animation also. So if I play this you can see this Pac-Man has got the animation which we have created in this Blender. So in this way we can export animations from Blender to After Effects easily. So hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial. If you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me. So we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye.